Here's a TV so you can watch those weird Japanese cartoons. It's weird Japanese anime. Thank you very much. Also some comics and books so you won't get bored. On top of that, I got you tissues for your runny nose. Anything else you need, Paul? Just one thing. Can I have a straw so I can breathe? I don't know. I think we should get rid of this. Don't you worry, bro. If you still need something, I'll be closer than you think. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. <laughs> hey nerd, has this weird door always been here? Yeah, I always thought it's a broom closet or something. Let's see what's behind it. Whoa. Wow. What is this place? What's with these windows and labels? Look! It's us behind there. But there's something off. You're right. In this one too, so weird. Oh, I know what this is. Have you ever heard of the multiverse theory? According to it, there are an infinite amount of universes with slight differences. This place seems to have windows that show them and... Whoa, slow down there, professor. Multiverse theory... Speed up, speed up. Anyway, better not to touch anything, but at least we can look. Yeah! Uh, I think my pecs are bigger. This universe seems to be a gender swap. These guys look quite smart. I guess only people with superior intelligence can understand these fellows. What's the heck, man? What? Why do you get to be the Millennium Falcon? Well, I'm just an X-Wing. <laughs> I'm sorry. I think we have seen enough. Let's go. Wait, can I take something home? Are you nuts? Messing with other universes could have catastrophic consequences. Please. Not the puppy eyes. Fine, take an in an object so maybe it doesn't do much damage. You could have chosen Millennium Falcon, but you ended up with this? Woohoo! Look at them! Go! Oh, oh, they just keep on going. Uh, you know, Jock, there were tons of different universes in there. But I don't think there was even one where we weren't friends. Hmm. Uh, did you say something, Paul? Oh, nothing. You know, I've been thinking that we should form a band. Hey, I've been thinking that too. I have already practiced playing the guitar in secret. And I have been honing my singing skills every morning in the shower. This is going to be sweet. Let me show you my outfit. Me too. I already came up with a cool name for us. We shall be... The Hat Arduino! Hounds of Darkness! Oh, I think we've got a problem in choosing our artistic vision. 
or do we? And then they took the world by storm with their groundbreaking yodeling metal. By the way, Jock, I think I have never seen you without your cap. Are you hiding a bald spot or something? Oh, of course not. Actually, it's my limiter. Limiter? My real power is so out of control that I need a limiter to suppress it. Like I can believe in that. Give me that hat. Don't. Oh man, look what you did. That was my favorite shirt, you know. Uh, let's put this back on. Let's. A limiter, huh? Now I understand the source of your immeasurable strength. I too must cast this feeble form away and embrace my power that has been hidden. Well, do you feel more powerful? No, I can't see anything. Oh. I think a girl has been following us for a while now. Oh, really? Is she behind that creepy ghost? Look, is that a love letter on your locker? This is heavy. It must be from that stalking ghost girl from earlier. I hope you don't get cursed or... Wow, a lot of text here. That was your locker. This is for you. What? Oh my god. 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 What's wrong? Feeling ill? You gotta help me, man. I don't know how to deal with this. What are you freaking about? I thought you were good with girls. I am, but not with g g ghosts. So, Mr. Jack, did you read my letter? Yep. Oh, yes, my little squire has been reading it for me. Oh, nerd! <laughs> Always hanging with my job. Do you think I don't know what they say about you two? Dude, what is she talking about? Uh, don't you ever read the comments? What comments? So, would you g go out with me sometime, Jack? Uh, sure, why not? I'll be wearing my garlic necklace then. I don't think she's a vampire. Well, at least my uncle's silver buckle will come in handy. I don't think she's a werewolf either. Yeah, I'm not really sure what she is. I knew Lord Xarhul Charm would not let me down. <laughs>